what's up you guys welcome back to my channel okay it's been a little while since i've um been able to come even since i've done a video with my face and everything but um this will be how my future videos go okay and we are for this video we're going to get into the weekly so if this is your first time here welcome my name is chanel i am a tarot reader i also what else do i do i create uh self-help content to so help support you in your journey um and i also practice root work and conjure work so <clears throat> You can find everything in the description box below uh, in reference to that. And if you are returning here, welcome back. All right. And yes, please make sure that you like and subscribe and share. If this message blesses you, perhaps it will bless someone else surrounding you. Or perhaps this resonates with someone else around you and not you, you know, because sometimes these readings be working in that way. So give me one second. Oh, as you see, I have a new setup going on here. We just recently moved. Um, so still getting things together. But I'm well on my way. <laughs> We're well on our way uh, with getting some order here. So I wanted to go ahead and get into this week's energy. It's Monday. All right. Mondays are ruled by the moon. I'm just trying to pull up this astrology chart right now to see what energies we are working with astrologically. <clears throat> Let's see what we have going on. And we can reference a little bit. We do, we just came out of Mercury retrograde. Venus is now in Libra, very at home, a lot of beauty, a lot of all the sensuality and feel goods and the, you know, pleasure, you know, tapping into that principle. You know, we are now in Libra season. I believe the last reading I did was a Virgo season. <laughs> it was a weekly reading. Um, but we have some other planets getting ready to come out of retrograde, such as Pluto and I believe Saturn, if I'm not mistaken. Definitely look it up. Don't quote me. Okay. So let's see what it is that we have going on. Right now, today, the moon is in Capricorn. So this week, we will be experiencing <clears throat> a Capricorn moon, an Aquarius moon, a Pisces moon, and the full moon will be on the, on the 9th. So on Sunday, we'll be having a full moon in Aries, which will be conjunct um Chiron in Aries so that'll be some interesting energy so we're gonna go ahead and get into it and see what it is what messages it is that uh spirit has for us and you know what comes through for you guys what's getting channeled maybe some ancestors want to come through and speak to you whoever this is for you know so we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna start by rolling some dice to see what it is that we have going on there Spirit, ancestors of the collective here, spirit guides, angels that walk with us all. That bring clarity, assurance, benevolence, protection, provision, understanding, and wisdom, support through when things get struggled, some when they get hard and the support it is that we are needing at that time are calling on those spirits to come through and provide any messages and insights, guidance, advice. Allow me to be a bridge, a channel to offer these messages to the collective at this time. What can we expect? What do we need to know about this week of October 2nd to October 9th? with the collective okay so what's coming out here with the dice we have saturn Let's see that. 
in my shoulders. Yeah, there it goes. The <laughs> Saturn, the planet Saturn. Scorpio. In the 10th house. 10th house. That way. So, with Saturn and Scorpio in the 10th house, this is a lot about uh, our commitments, our devotion to uh, forward movement, to our future, right? So, this is, but this is about being diligent with it and, and letting things run its course. Like everything is taking its time. You know, it's not a rush, it's a, a process of things. It's putting in the work, putting in the effort, um, being very aware of what connections it is that are needing to be made in order to help support us in building stability, structure, and foundation that we are needing at this time, um, but that's needed to help us grow, to help us flourish, to help us um, be big, in a sense. You know, so we may be working with people who are very close with us like building something very strong with our intimate relationships this can be our spouses this can be a family member this could just simply be us working with our ancestors we may be building something upon our ancestors the the memory of our ancestors okay um or building something that is going to be left behind as an ancestor like a, a sense of legacy a sense of order and establishment um this is a lot about our career as well, like our money and how we make that and what, um, how we go about that and the consistency within that, right? So this is about stable flow in, in a thing. This is very, this energy works really good together, right? Because this is all feminine energy. So this is about trusting. This is about going and being in the flow in, in earth and water, work really well together it's all about nourishment saturn rules the 10th house okay and scorpio is a water sign okay so this is really about um watering the seeds it is that we've been planting making sure that we're feeding them what it is that they are needing when it comes to our achievements what we are trying to make real right because the 10th house of saturn is about making something real and making it very long lasting okay and making this is this can easily be so if you have a job you might find yourself very committed very um like you can make what it is that you are wanting being here at this job um granted there may be some things that may come up that kind of uh create some blockages some delays uh, uh some type of obstacle even that is requiring us to be more disciplined in our approach to things okay and um is something you know there can be something in reference to justice within the contracts it is that we've signed maybe we are um had like things are being illuminated we're learning something that we were not aware of once before and that is forcing us to move forward in the act of being able to have that stability, have that consistency it is that we want. Okay. Um, this week can be a good week. So say you need a business loan, it's a good time to take out something like that because it's going to support you in the growth it is that you were trying to make happen. Um, or perhaps you need to get yourself in a position to be able to attain a business loan, okay? Um, and do whatever work is required of you. So that can be like credit, needing uh, repair or um, needing to go and consult with a proper bank, uh, a lender type of thing. Maybe even somebody is... Maybe there's someone who can invest in you, like uh, connecting with investors. Okay. So, yeah, let's see. What else is here? Let's see what messages we have for this week. So, 
Okay. This is interesting. So there is a lot being revealed to us this week. Um, so for Monday, we have the Daughter of Knives, which is this today. So this is like a being at one with spirit, right? Being able to receive messages it is that's needing in order to move forward, right? This is very air sign energy. So maybe some communication, maybe, maybe talking to um, uh, talking to others, connecting with others, right? And this may be moving quickly, swiftly. Things are moving fast on this day. And it's like um, might is right kind of energy, whether or not you're actually right, okay? And it's a lot about the truth as well, seeing the reality of the situation. Um, this can even be correcting our mind in the way in which it is that it operates how we think or what it is that we think we think what it is that we think we know even right is that the right thing is this really true and we may be connecting with spirit maybe someone who can um who is a psychic right or someone who does this reads tarot even you know um maybe some astrology even and utilizing that to help support you in the forward movement it is that you're making like recognizing what's influencing you and what's going on in your head right is what your head is what's going on in your head really a thing or are you just being influenced by the planetary aspects that you're that we are under at this time All right so there could also be some balance um coming forward it may be a lot of creative, it may be a very creative time for some of us um, in moving on that, acting on that, uh, and, and communicating these things, like being very, uh, what's the word, forthright, because Daughter of Nas is a very forthright energy, okay, it is about seeing things for what they are from a, from a higher perspective, right, although that energy can be that whole um I'm not necessarily sure kind of thing but I'm gonna go with it within that the truth is still revealed right so on Tuesday we have Dr. Buzzard and this is Dr. Buzzard here's the justice card so something is something is being learned like perhaps something is being fought for even um in reference to something that has been invested into. It can have something to do with uh, contracts that we are under or contracts we are wanting to sign or bringing balance to um, what it is that's needed in order for things to be balanced, whether that is relationships, whether that is um, work matters, whether that is us. It's a lot of mental energy going on here this week, right? But this is also a lot about winning things right so getting um what it is that you need what it is that you uh want and desire through like some way that uh shouldn't have happened in a sense like I'm not saying that what's received shouldn't be had but more so of a being able to attain something by seeing beyond what something actually is, okay? <laughs> All right, so, but at the same time, this can be something about the truth. This can also be co about connecting with people who are um, not necessarily being fully in the truth, right, by some means, and bringing justice to this. Um, it's a lot of air energy here. It's a lot of truth being revealed at this time. Um, I'm hearing attitude. So like paying attention to how it is that you are addressing things, how it is that you're communicating. Um, maybe something is coming up in regards to marriage even. Um, maybe, maybe someone is working on their marriage, right? The truth is coming in reference to marriage. Okay. Um, It 
it doesn't like the energy it doesn't feel like separated it feels together it doesn't feel like anything is going wrong per se if it something is being if something is wrong it's being perceived as wrong which is very different um and there's some clarity that's needing to be had within this All right, it's like a taking the feelings out of the situation. So, okay, so today and tomorrow is kind of like, okay, we are separating ourselves from the feeling aspect of things and more so um, detaching, right? To, so that we can have very clear understanding of what's going on, how it is that we're going to um, move forward. This can also find be us finding out a lot of legal information at this time, right? Things it is that we are needing legally in order to move forward and attain something, trying to gain something, right? Because that's Dr. Buzzard. Um, this is about, right? Because it's about a new path. We're on a new trajectory at this time, right? We're about to have this full moon in, in Aries on Sunday, and it's about to make sense right it's almost like what is has been standing in our way within us it's going to be revealed it's going to come out right so points that we have them bones so them bones is judgment energy judgment card okay so with this coming out on wednesday um this is a lot about choosing to do what it is that's needing to be done this is again something coming up maybe something um that we thought was dead is is getting uh, becoming seen right because she's shocked and shocking energy can go one or two wide ways it can be like oh I can't believe that or oh shit I'm shocked my nervous system has just been thrown off <laughs> right so it's it's one or the other kind of thing um and we're really recognizing what it is that it's needing to take place, right? Where our commitments lie, what, what call are we needing to answer? What do you need to do, right? What needs to happen? Um, maybe there are some changes that's needing to take place. Like something needs to go, right? Something may even be rebirth or in and just end it altogether. So the new can move forward because on Thursday we have a 10 six. So it's like, whatever it is that we've been seeing, before uh and recognizing how it's been a burden to us we are finding the means to let it go finding the means to retap into our vitality into our energetic space of being able to get things done in an effortless light way right very passionate very um feeling good right really being in what it is that we want to where we want to be, how we want to be in it, okay? So, the on Thursday, things may get a little burdensome. There may be needing some rest um, that's needing to take place, like where things may just be feeling very heavy on this day. Uh, and this could be based off of what it is that's being realized or being seen or being communicated about or what's being talked about. Maybe these things are going on in the mind, you know, everything of that nature. Um, Friday, we have pop. So this, where, where is the sun? Is it 14 degrees Libra, I think? Yeah, because Chiron is at 14 degrees and that's where the moon is going to be. So we'll probably be entering. Mm -mm. Well, the moon will be in Pisces on Friday. So we'll be getting ready to get into this full moon phase. Um, but Pa, this is the moon card. So some women may be starting their menstrual cycle like literally having their moon arrive on this day um and that could be the reason of why thursday is feeling so heavy you know um because ten of six is fire and the sacral chakra is um it's a chi based energy which is the fire right although the sacral chakra is water based we're not gonna get into all of that but um Pa is basically seen 
talking about seeing things clearly, um, letting things go. There's like some healing taking place. A direction is being chosen. Um, this may even just be, you know, spending time with our elders, right? Or maybe our children are spending time with their elders, okay? And um, taking, being able to take a break in a sentence. All will be revealed. And this has something to do with the inner child energy, you know, and really, um, kind of what, what illusions have been blocking us from being able to grasp, right, out, right, now what hasn't been able to be seen beyond the light, right, where things have just been, um, right, okay, so you know how when you've been in the light for a long time and then you cut the lights off and you can't see shit, that's about to be seen, <laughs> Um, all right, so maybe we've been looking at things from a very uh light kind of way all this time, or maybe we've just been looking at things wrong completely. Maybe we have been looking through the eyes of a false light, right? And then the lights go off and we see the truth and things are not as bleak as we thought they were, right? They are not um what we assume them to be okay uh this is an interesting week it's not a bad week it's just like a lot of moving parts a lot of different elements um coming up together you know um it's not even really it's not really even a balance of elements honestly but it's seven days so there really wouldn't be any actual balance in that way. Okay, so what I'm also getting is that maybe we have been alluding ourselves to in holding on to some kind of burden. Maybe there's something like really ancient, something in the past, you know, that has been held on to, um, that it's just time to let go. It's time to take a new path, time to take a new route. Um, there may even be something coming out in reference to the men in our lives. They may be, we may be finding something out about them or they may be letting us know something um, that's gonna take a load off of us, that's going to release us from some type of burden. Um, it, it seems, it feels like it's gonna be good news. On Saturday, we have Mother of Baskets. Okay, so Mother of Baskets, this is someone nurturing, um, taking care of her children, taking care of her spouse, her family, right? This is a psychic. Maybe you connecting with someone who is uh, of psychic energy. Um, maybe the numbers are going to be very important for you on this day, even. Um, There may be a new book you're wanting to start reading even that's gonna help you in uh, your emotional nature, right? Cause something's been illuminated when it comes to how it is that you're feeling it. Um, you are needing some help, some guidance, some support, or maybe you are the one offering this support to others and helping them see things from a place of being able to connect the dots, right? To be able to see things through. I'm really getting like palace Athena energy with this. Um, being able to put things together. Oh, where is palace right now? I think she may be in a I think she may be in a water sign. Okay. And if that's the case, that's the energy that I'm picking up from this, right? Being able to work through your emotions, right? This truth that's had that has come about like um, being very supported and being able to establish a uh, forward movement, like not letting your thoughts get in your way, like not letting them that control your reality. Are y'all okay? <laughs> Are y'all okay? Um, because, wow. All right. So on Sunday, we have Miss Robinson. So we may be deciding to start working towards the root of the issue, 
all right, and um, getting into getting out of the ways that we have been crossed up, right, that we have been bound, that we have um, where it is that we need some soul retrieval, right, and connecting with with this energy, with this mother of baskets energy in order to move through that. Okay, this could also be speaking about um, dealing with our shadows, our own personal darkness, even um, in recognizing how that has sabotaged us. It feels a lot about this energy. It's almost like that we, like the inner, like the finger has been pointed out there when it's been us kind of thing. Granted, there are some, um, but what I'm also getting is on Sunday, uh, someone may be getting some form of justice, like maybe somebody wronged you um, and there is a payback that's being received from that. Um, also, it's like the, the letting, letting things die for real. <clears throat> All right, so it's on, on Wednesday. All right, okay, so Wednesday, then bonds energy, something begins, something's being reborn, right? So, and then we get to Sunday, there is like a, a letting go, a release, right? Um, this is like freeing ourselves from the shackles, even of that which is not really serving. Um, that which is heavy, which is dense. Letting go of any type of anything it is. If there was something that was really enjoyed and it had been, you either had to take some time away from it um, or yeah, basically you had to take some time away from it. It seems like that's being reestablished for you, like you may be finding success with this. <clears throat> We're gonna clarify these cards. Let's clarify these energy, please. That's a lot. Um, a lot of words. That's the budget. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So, with the Daughter of Knives here, we have the Five of Swords. Okay. So, with the Five of Swords, this may be some something very heart-based okay um it's almost as if like we are having to change our minds about something all right seeing that we must come out of this time of turbulence in a sense um really freeing ourselves in our heart space right this is a lot about again that whole uh, detachment energy, all right, and it may have to do with something surrounding money, material things, uh, practicality, all right, but this is about using the mind to um, see things true, see things very clearly, but in order to do that, you have to break away from whatever is uh, creating this, this conflict of pain, Right, it's like there was some pain here, and it perhaps it is the truth, but it's the need. Maybe it was the truth at one time, and it's not the truth anymore. Right, so this is today, Monday, and it's just time for um, a change. Very strong held energy, like very abrasive kind of vibes going on here right and the mind is having to come away from this like 
there is no healing that can be taking place. You continue to uh, open the wound over and over and over again, right? And the mind is so powerful. <laughs> the mind is so powerful. Whatever we believe, that's what it's going to be. You know, we constantly create our reality through our thoughts, through our mind. But it's like sometimes, a lot of times we are creating reality uh, through things that are not necessarily true. It's like, is that the truth? Is that really what's happening here? Or are you projecting that to be what's happening at this time kind of thing, right? What's what's really happening there is going to have to be some healing taking place. Like then you're gonna go have to go from one island to another, right? Go from one way of thought to another. It's just a lot about stealing the mind and, and you know, getting clarity, clarity that is true. Right, clarity that is true and is very real. Let me look at this book real quick. Where is it? Oh, here you go. Let's see. You need to see where the fives are. So these cards, they um this is from the Tarot of Magical Correspondence, and it has a lot of the Kabbalah in it. So I'm about to see what Sefer is connected to okay yeah so it's definitely about some things not being seen clearly here right because where the fives are in the kabbalah between the it's like some balance some it, it, to get from from five to six, there has to be some clarity gained here, right? And in these two cards together, they manifest a six. They equal a six, okay? So this is about seeing things very clearly, being very honest about what has been, but it's like, where, where are you going? Has anything changed? And where it hasn't changed, are you willing to change, right? How are you going to go about um, making things different, okay? Yeah, so this is also um, a lot about seeing, again, seeing things clearly. And it's of the heart, right? So maybe we've had something, the way our heart has been feeling for a while or up until this point has become this way based off of our thoughts, right? And just because we are feeling something, our feelings are justified, right? But maybe the mind is not necessarily telling us the truth. And instead, it's keeping us in the space of um, pain, of hurt, you know, and it's just time to free ourselves for real. Um, because we continue to allow ourselves to feel defeated and we are just needing, it's important that we connect with somebody to help us see things clearly. We are needing to see beyond the veil on Monday. Wow, I didn't expect this to be so um, long. Uh, so also, you know, dealing with the nervous system, all right? Dealing with this anxiety, dealing with these feelings um, within us, like the where it is that we have been feeling low, feeling down. Uh, we have to move forward, move beyond this, and this is probably only going to last today, which it, it is. Things are changing. Right? It's like, so with Dr. Buzzard, we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, so Ace of Wands says, admirable or hidden intelligence, union with God, which is all the um, wands energy in the stick. And so, okay, this is a lot about taking flight, like new passions, feeling really good. Um, about things like an understanding the truth um, and it's like burning up anything that is false even okay so there may be some interesting conversations taking place about the truth like maybe somebody's been watching you um, maybe your sight in general is just getting very clear learning the truth about ourselves right and where it is that we're going what's taking place here um 
and this in itself is moving quickly so these first two days like nothing's lasting right so it's like we we um experience these conversations we have these thoughts or however and all of a sudden um it's just gone like clarity comes right we are reinvigorated with this new sense of passion this new sense of uh movement of flow even uh really focused on ourselves as well um that's interesting because justice and the ace of wands gives me uh like i need to i need to go i need to focus on myself all right so there may be some separation energy happening here going on but at the same time what i'm getting is that there is some renewal within relationships um like having new passion within relationships okay and the aces they are at the top of the kabbalah right so that is the highest it's the highest crown, right? So that we tomorrow we are having like this really profound understanding of uh, of what needs to be done, like it, especially when it comes to like legalities, right? Marriage. Somebody's disconnected with the union within themselves and the divine, right? And in realizing this. Um, we in turn allow ourselves to be come back into balance, come back into balance with those who we are connected to, come back into balance within ourselves, right? Peace, harmony, um, security for real. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay so this can so let's say this is talking about work um there may be something new coming in like people may be reaching out to you <clears throat> and wanting to work with you maybe you start some new aspect of your job um and you are starting a new job even okay um there's something that is that you really like like you're really enjoying this by some means um there's also a a release of whatever has not been working what's been letting what's just like getting in the way of that which is no longer uh serving right it's a lot of power and strength on this day um so we're able to tackle what it is again that whole dr buzzard energy making things happen like that should not have happened like how you did that what you did tell me your secret right so then with them bones we have the ace of coins all right so another ace here we're still at this space of really high understanding right having this one oneness with god the on here on the aces union with god okay not just saying this <laughs> admirable again our hidden intelligence so something is being revealed maybe we'll find a new way to make money um, maybe some new resources are coming in we may feel in control of being able to make things happen right the the all the pressure everything it is that we've been experiencing we're realizing like oh shit it was worth it so this energy remember i said that shock energy can be like oh whoa you know or oof that that just got that fucked me up kind of thing um so this is one of those good shocking days right there may be some new money coming in um some unexpected money okay um or new ways to make money finger of god it's a very blessed time <laughs> okay um what else is here? Clarify to the spirit. spirit. It states, wow. Okay. So it's the six of wands here, which is the same energy, both fire, um, just different names and different decks. Right. So the phoenix is rising. There's success happening here. All right. We are, are 
harvesting the forest for the trees and more. We are uh, harvesting the wood from the trees that we were able to see everything through, right? And utilizing this to keep us warm, utilizing this to cook our food, utilizing this, um, okay, to build our homes, all right? To build a structure, have stability, all right? Have, it's like the cross has been bared even. Um, somebody may be burning something literally this day like it's like oh, I don't want this no more I'm giving this away like we had this too long it's time to get something different kind of thing and this can be something that has been like burdensome something that has just been like in a way all the time um, right and because it's like okay all of a sudden you got this money coming in that takes this load off of you take these burdens off of you um, what is the the vision of harmony of things, yeah. So things are coming into a very steady energy here. Um, it's like a, a completion of something, you know, a letting go, a lighter period is about to take place for us this week. What else is clarify this card card? What else do you want us to know about this moon energy? <laughs> okay so clarifying paw is the ten of wands so we got ten of wands again so it's like now that things are clear um the, the load has been lit lightened uh this is freeing us on a soul level like it's some soul retrieval Thing happening here like feeling very good about oneself out of the fact that um you were able to free oneself from something that was very um like detrimental to the spirit okay it's in the one it's the vision of the holy guardian angel or of i don't know resplendent intelligence okay Hmm. So feeling very rooted, very grounded, even uh, yeah. uh I do want to say on Friday, be careful in the way in which it is that you are spending. Don't get too um out of control with things, right? Because there's some changes taking place. There may even be some anger taking going on with um come Friday. What is the 10? 10 is at the lowest point of the tree. This is the princess. Let's see. You know, we're learning these cards together, okay? So... It's the kingdom. Yellow color is yellow. Egyptian god is Osiris. It's the Sphinx. Um, Lily, pomegranate, all cereals, willow, coexist. Okay. Vegetable, drugs, corn. So. Oh, okay, so there may be a celebration even on Friday. Um, take care of not to get too uh, drunk, for real. Um, skepticism, transcendental mortality is skepticism. The Ten of Wands speaks about authoritative powers, excessive pressure, selfishness, and earthly goals. Um, so... Something's being revealed in reference to work, cruel and authoritative power, oppression. Um, and you're seeing clearly, and this clear clarity may be coming like on a collective standpoint, like this may be beyond you, right? This may take place with other people, or perhaps the revealing of how um People have been trying to be deceptive in some some capacity. This could be at work. 
uh, because there's a lot of work energy here, a lot of money energy here, and it is blocking you or what has been blocking you, what has been um, not allowing you to be the fullness of yourself, right? Because the Sphinx is like a chimera energy and chimeras are um, a multitude of animals into one, right? So to me, I see this as uh, the wholeness of self, not really being able to fully be you, right? Out of carrying some loads and burden, right? The wands have a lot to do with opinions, ten of wands specifically, um, and what other people got to say, like having to stay within order, uh, which I guess makes sense why he said this card was oppression, right? But um, the burden is lifted and it's, it seems to be completely dissolved on Friday because the moon speaks about coming undone. There may be some lunatic, mad type of behavior even on Friday. So um, take care and who you connect with, or just like it may not even be somebody you know. Right? You know, people just be out not paying attention. Moon is about direction, movement. So be careful on the road. What is what is this mother of fastest? More clarity. Okay. So the mother of fastest we got with the princess of swords. So this is gonna be a very like quiet kind of day in a sense, like um figuring things out or beginning to learn something new somebody you connecting with somebody who's teaching you something new um something very transcendental even um a connecting you with this chimera energy within right this um this sphinx within you is like the aroma is changing Learning how to uh, steal your mind, right? Allowing your mind to work for you and you not be a slave to it. And granted, all of this can also just be within because Pa is a subconscious energy, right? So ooh, on Friday, there may be that seeing of where it is that we have been unconsciously projecting these burdens out toward us like where we have been oppressing our own selves and how that has been manifesting outside of us okay and not really being able to um make things happen how it is that we want them to happen uh, i mean at the same time this energy can be good when things are flighty and you're needing some grounding and stability um but at the same time where there is no freedom there is there is no winning there is no flow okay so we are seeing that this may have been a very unconscious thing right because this this thursday happens and it's like the mind changes when something takes place that we did not expect to take place it it does this innate uninvol um it uninvoluntary what's the word involuntary what am I talking about? Involuntary shift in the mind, right? But then once that happens, we have to work in making this, to continue this, you know, that um, to keep ourselves in that space of not creating any type of narratives that are going to um, hanker us down, you know? So with the princess, let me see what the princess is saying here. They are also the lowest. So that is the kingdom. Okay, so tens represent the kingdom, right? So this is like physical earth, basically. These are things that are happening here, right? Recognizing how it is that these things have been manifesting from inside of us, right? And how we have been creating our reality based off of what we cannot um, perceive clearly because it's been so hidden. And it's very clear all of a sudden, resplendent 
intelligence, okay? <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, okay. It's almost having a face the fact that, okay, I've been wrong all this time, but today I see, I know better now. Okay, I can go forward and I can make this, I can make these things happen. I am capable, okay? The princess of swords, she is earth of air. So when with the princesses, they are of earth. Their senses are earth and touch. Okay, so she is earth of air, right? And she's of the rushing winds. The lotus is um, one of her plants. So maybe you want to work with some lotus fragrance, some lotus essential oils, even. Um, and there is also uh, it's a lot of wisdom being here refinement and material affairs yeah so somebody's buying something new <laughs> this week um something that's going to make the home much more comfortable okay things are like i said it's a new beginning for real. we got two aces back to back on some energy that is very like here it is it's in your face kind of thing you can't go without seeing this like um even if it's a subtle thing it, subtleties are often what bring the bigger thing into manifestation. What's that saying that um, quantum leaps don't actually happen in leaps, but in small steps? It may not be the actual same wording, but you know. So, new beginnings, new beginnings. The kingdom is being laid, like things are somebody's spouse, somebody's husband, somebody's brother, somebody's sibling, guy friend is coming out of um, some very oppressive state of being. <clears throat> They're gaining a lot of clarity quickly. Like it's being like a drought happening all of a sudden. Like a coming to Jesus to make the kingdom come. <laughs> what in the world okay look this is just the messages that are coming through all right let's clarify this miss robinson Ms. robinson is the devil okay so let's see and her story is interesting but let's see what makes it work what's the clarity what clarification parts do we have from miss robinson here did not tell y'all something about somebody relationship okay clarity miss robinson Two of Cups, okay? Uh, the vision of God face-to-face, -face, meeting oneself. Yeah. Wow. 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 Is that Valerian? Let me see. And at the bottom, we got Ace of Wands. Okay. So it's like we're working, working through these shadows within our relationships, okay? Again, um, like a justice may be being brought forth within our relationships. Very, very loving, very comforting. Something, um, man, is that a turquoise? Very heart-based energy here. What are the twos? And it's something by way of the woman, right? And that's the thing. When it comes to this whole relationship, we are the catalyst to bringing spirit into fruition, into the material aspect of things. And a lot of times it is the unseen it is that we are needing in order for the material aspect of things to become, right? Yes, the man, the masculine can go out and get this, um, but sometimes he needs some support and that support needs to be from spirit and as women we are the vessel of such you know granted that may not if, if you don't so i guess i can say i don't think i mean however you the mis masculine and feminine construct in your relationship i'm not getting to all that all right um yeah this is by way of the feminine to support the masculine 
because the tombs in this deck uh, are connected to the kings. And this is wisdom coming through. Okay, Isis, Amaranth. Oh, that's Amaranth. Comforting, um, mistletoe, a lot of love, star ruby, and turquoise, lingam, the inner robe of glory. So, uh, somebody maybe like making babies because the, the devil energy is like sexual energy in two of cups. Um, you know, that's union that's coming together. That is a, a union of one's soul individual soul but also union of two souls coming together to become one okay um so that might be taking place and you know i felt that at the beginning when i pulled miss robinson that that's what that was going to be but gotta give things time to okay so also that okay so that brings me to needing to have the faith right faith mustard seed kind of faith right um uh, evidence of things unseen um we have to be able to, or be willing to be okay with not knowing not trusting right because this this starts here today oh my god okay so having that mindset having that way of seeing things letting these uh, this old shit um affect you in a way that is deterring your reality in a negative light right so it's like you got to detach from this and all of a sudden going through and and operating and moving forward in a different way to uh make things happen as you want so then something comes in something of material it's a new opportunity some way of making this happen and success is gained Success is gained, burdens are released. Illusions are seen. The unconscious has been revealed. All right. Didn't I talk about how the light be on and you cut off, you can't see nothing? And so stuff is being revealed. This is that ten of wands on top of that moon card. Okay. So let's see this. Hashish and cocaine are the drugs. So this might be inebriation. No, it's okay. So, um, this might be a lot of excitement, right? But it might be short lived, right? Think of that type of high. Um, but it is about devotion and, and commitment and stability with with one another. Um, a lot of fun, a lot of good things happening. There may be like some type of indulgence. Maybe you're getting together with a group of people you love, right? Even it could be something like that, you know, feeling like you're on a high kind of thing and just, um, feeling really connected. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me pull some orb cards. <laughs> I'm just talking way long. I don't know how long this video is about to be. I don't know how long it's been. I don't even look at what time I started this. Put up this here. Yeah, so this energy today is devil energy. <laughs> um, but seeing the truth of the matter. What else is here? Oh, on Sunday, I just heard that, um, I don't like that, that there could be something in reference to overindulgence in a way that's like really unhealthy that can, uh, uh, result in a lot of pain mm, after the fact. So just take care, right? Just take care for real. So we have the strong call mermaid coming out here. And she speaks about the world of water is an ocean that suffers no stagnation. So we are on a 
a, a watery wave this week, okay? Um, so that means a lot of this may be taking place uh, when the moon goes into Pisces. So that will be about like Thursday, Thursday, Friday energy. The moon is in Capricorn. It'll probably, it will be in Aquarius tomorrow. So that'll be there for like three days. What's today? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday will probably spend half of the day in Aquarius and the other half in Pisces. So yeah, Thursday and Friday. Um, hmm. I'm saying all this stuff like I don't have a calendar. Okay, so Friday, yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is Pisces. The last full day of Aquarius moon will be on Wednesday. Okay, yeah, so the strong column are made. A lot of these things may be really, um, like we may be understanding them more or what's taking place over the week when the moon goes into Pisces on Wednesday. Like there may be something in our dreams that we really need to be paying attention to, but we are attracting to us that which we desire, right? And making things happen in a way um, by going with the flow, by not letting anything stagnate us, by not getting stuck in any one way, old way of being. Okay, it says... A musical spirit, the strong call, predicts a romance for you. Be aware and ready to receive communication from someone who will complete your world. News regarding a project will be most be a most sweet song, bringing your heart's desire and placing you into harmony with all others. Your actions will create a response like an echo among new individuals who approach you quite unexpectedly or spontaneously. The mystery of the river is the art of hunting. Search for the real potential of your bountiful future and find a new direction a life new life direction it may involve travel to water or overseas and breaking away from the old for something fresh and full of promise so a lot of new emotions are being established here as well maybe a good time to go bring some offerings um to the water the water spirits um, it may be a good time to bring some offerings to your ancestors. Okay, maybe you need to set up an ancestor altar if you don't have one. Good time for that. This is Hoodoo Heritage Month. Okay, this is all about the ancestors. What else is it? Maybe making some new friends, or some people may be returning, reconciliation kind of thing. A lot of old energy here being revived. Oh, that's when it's back. It's about to be made use of. So we got hummingbird dreams. So Coming bird dream. So again, things are moving very swiftly. Okay. Uh changes are happening, changes are afoot. Things are going perhaps things are about to start going in a different direction. Um, but it may be something small because hummingbirds the whole aspect behind this card, it speaks about this small creature having this ability to fly so quickly um and flapping its wingspan. Um, it talks about taking time to notice the smallest thing. So this is about the subtleties again, right? So whatever is happening, it may not happen in a drastic way. It may be something very internal, something that can't be seen, um, something that can't even really be explained to other people. It's just something that happens and takes place. It says even those who, who seem the least to us have their dreams. The tiniest and the weakest have their place in the universe just as we do. They have a special job that only they can do, a place that only they can feel. There is no one being that is more important or more worthy than another. 
regardless of the form in which they choose to express themselves. We marvel at the tiniest hummingbird, how it can move its wings so rapidly that it can hover in one spot and then fly off in a split second. What strength and agility it has. What divine form it has to believe that something so tiny, it's hard to believe that something so tiny can bring so much beauty and wonder. If you're feeling small and insignificant, remember your uniqueness. The only shoes you have to feel are your own and they fit you just fine. There are no insignificant people, none who are less less whole than another. Eliminate prejudices, prejudices and judgments, whether cast upon yourself or another. If you feel that someone is not up to your standards, then realize that it's what you're projecting onto them. Change your perception and see them truly as they are. This is what I was saying. Seeing things for what it is that they really are, not projecting your idea. Like, how do you how do you know that's true? How do you know that's who they really are? Although, um, or how do you know this is how something really is? Granted, it may look like that, but sometimes looks are seen. Um, a reflection of God energy just as you are. They are a reflection of God energy just as you are. Spirit expresses through us in its own way. It's not for us to second guess. If you are feeling less than whole, remember your divine birth and take comfort in knowing that you are divinely perfect. Pursue your dreams and know that you are divinely guided. Have faith in your dreams and your abilities. It's okay to have faith in other people's dreams. Help and encourage them to believe in themselves. Right? So we may be supporting people and believing in themselves. Maybe um, it's the time we need to allow people to come through and support us and believing in ourselves. Okay? And not trying to do everything by ourselves. Yeah, really pay attention to to your dreams this week. Like, if you ain't got a dream journal, it's a great time to have one. All right, what else this week? Just for the collective. Yeah, because these messages are coming through, like where we need to focus, where it is that our success actually lies. Like we may have thought that we were going to be doing a certain thing, when, but instead, right, we, we get a promotion <laughs> or we just get um, a higher paying position, a raise. Things work out in our favor because we allowed other people to support us because we chose to support somebody else who really needed that. Because we supported ourselves, because we stopped judging ourselves. Okay. So the void, of course, the moon. It says nothing will come of this situation. So if there is something that has been <clears throat> bothering you, um, nothing will come of it. Right? Maybe you met somebody new. I don't think this relationship is actually going to be that which we uh, thought it was going to be, right? Uh, but at the same time, nothing will come off the situation we can speak of uh, to me, this card is a lot about not seeing things in a negative light, but void of course moon is a great time to start something new. It's a great time to put something out there, right? Depending on the other planetary aspects that are connected with it, like ele electional astrology is what it's called. Okay, so <clears throat> maybe we are needing to utilize that in order to see when's the right time, right? When is the timing, right? Because Saturn and the 10th house are here. So we have a, um, we have Saturn here. We have uh, Capricorn energy, Saturn energy at the bottom and here, right? So this may all be all about timing. Okay, let's see what this says. Okay, 
So in the book, it says, in form of astrology known as horary, where an astrology chart is cast according to when the question is asked and decoded, a void of course moon means nothing will come of this matter or the situation will bear no fruit. This may or may not be good news, depending on what you're asking. For example, if you're worried about something, whatever it is, this can be taken as a sign that there's nothing to worry about. However, if you're asking about a new project of any kind, including a new relationship, it's a sign to adjust your expectation or change things so you get a different outcome. Remember, the cards can only predict what you're currently creating, and you can change that with both your behavior or beliefs. I trust in my highest good, right? So it's like whatever it is that you are. See, this goes back to that whole negative way of thought and needing to change one's mind and how it is that we're perceiving things, how it is that we're choosing to project into our situation, into our relationships. Are we going to create, continue to create these mental movies that are not necessarily the truth? Okay, because the moon has a lot to do with the way in which it is that you think. So let's say you do have a new project and you put it out there. But you hesitant about it. You feeling like, I don't know if this, I'm not. If you go in it with, I don't know how this can go, I'm going to just do this. That's not necessarily the right energy to have. What it has to, what it has to be is, this is what I'm doing. And this is where it's going. Yeah. Um, but if there is some problematic situation that's coming up here, you need to know that everything is just fine. Everything is okay. Everything is going to work out. Like, you can't be in a space of worry about anything that's in the place right now. It's like letting everything run its course. <clears throat> Especially if it has to do with your sense of safety and security, your home life. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Yeah, because there's some freedom being had. So... The tuba fell out first, feeling safe. And then Queen Mother Nanny is the one that I pulled, which speaks about liberation, right? So it's safe to feel safe. Everything is okay. Whatever it is that you're concerning about this week is it's kind of redundant in a sense. So with that being said, it's like you have to work on yourself, work on your mind work on your feelings, right? Work on your connection, your uh, union with God and let that be your focus because that's what's going to bring that liberation. It is it's being sought after that freedom to live your life how it is that you want to live your life. You know, it's okay to dream. It's safe for you to carry out your dreams, okay? Um you have to be confident in the knowing that things are going to work out in the way that you do because you want so <clears throat> it feels more with this void of course moment you know more than just the it's like there's more of a negative feeling negative thought than there is positive and it's a need to change one's mind and know that your worries are not but in the void what is our personal power card for this week? Spirit. Personal power for this week. Okay. I am open to receive. That goes hand in hand with all of this, y'all. Being a bit being able to receive has a lot to do with feeling safe. Right. If you if you can't feel it at the bottom, you got I am blessed and um Level up is here, okay? It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Let your dreams guide you, okay? It's safe for you to carry out your vision, whatever that is. You, know, you just, your, your vision may just to be by, to buy a new pair of shoes. And you might be like, man, if I buy these shoes, what if a bill pop up and I got to pay that? You know, yada, yada, yada. Just buy the shoes. And if you're worried about it, um, I mean, it's a good time to spend money. Okay. When the moon is waxing and as it gets bigger, it's uh, 
a great time to spend more, right? It's a great time to make big purchases. So it will come back to you. If you spend your money with the flow of the moon, then um, you will never really not, you will never not have, right? Because once it goes into that waning phase, if you're focused on saving and not, uh, not buying things that you don't need, anything that you don't need, and you just simply spend money on what it is that you need right in this moment while the moon is waning until it gets back to um, that new moon phase, right? You will see how much you've saved. And then this full moon, the moon will start waxing and more money will be piled on top of that. So you'll have more to spend when it becomes gibbous and a, wa a waxing gibbous, I should say, um, in this full moon. All right. So treat yourself this week. Like I said, there may be some indulgences happening. Um, so, you know, maybe have you a nice fruit parfait. Maybe you want some cheesecake. Maybe you want a burger. I don't know. Whatever thing is treating to you, okay? Be open to receive. Somebody might be offering you something that is delightful to your senses. And take y'all a bath, perhaps with this full moon. Um, and perhaps maybe want to do a bath of abundance. Yeah, a bath of stability, a bath of protection. Um, maybe you even want to just follow up with mini baths. Or maybe you just want to take a sea salt bath, okay? Uh, because it's a good time to manifest. Right, because full moon's about harvest, granted. Right? A lot of people talk about it being of release. But me personally, there's so many things you can do with each moon phase. Uh there is no um granted and hoodoo, it is where things have to be in a certain way with certain moons, right? But if you are not um if that's not your tradition, you can use the moon phases for many different things, okay? So, and using the moon for hoodoo isn't much different, honestly. <laughs> it really isn't, but there are some things that just won't be done at all when it comes to working with the moon in hoodoo. Um, and it only be in one particular frame, okay? So... Yeah, you guys, that is it for this week. I hope that this supports you. Um, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know. I would like I would like to know how this, these messages are going for you guys. Okay, and um, I'll just connect with y'all. Okay, so yeah, I will see y'all soon. I have a lot of videos coming out for y'all. A lot of terror, more than anything. Um, because I think that may just be my focus for right now. All right, um, outside of what it is that I have on the website. So if you're in need or would like to have a personal reading done or any type of personal work, or if you go online and you see the workbooks and you need some help, book a consultation. All right, so yes, I'll see y'all next time. Thank you all for joining me and bye for now.